Hey everybody, uh, I often tell you guys that some of the perks of the job are getting to work with technology uh, in its early stages uh, before everybody else gets their hands on it. And I wanted to show this to press at CES, but since that's not going to happen, I thought why not just show it to everybody. Uh, what we have here is kind of a standard Core i9, uh, 12th gen, 12900K system, uh, Asus motherboard, uh, EVGA RTX 3080 graphics card. Uh, but you'll see there's one thing down here that's pretty interesting. This is a, the brand new Samsung PM1743 SSD. You can see we've got another version of it right here. This is actually an enterprise class drive. Um, so this exact model won't be coming to the consumer world, but it's cool to get a quick hint at uh, what PCIe Gen 5 performance will look like. And we just have it installed in the system through one of these interposer cards here that lets us adapt it to a PCI Express slot, if you will. So uh, what I'm gonna show you over here first is your standard PCIe Gen 4, kind of a top of the line modern SSD. Um, and we'll see what kind of performance we get out of that. We're getting just under seven gigabytes per second, 6.9 gigs per second. This is the OS drive, so it's a little bit lower, right around seven gigs is what you would expect to get on that. So that's kind of your, your Gen 4 story, if you will. Now we're gonna run the same iometer test of throughput on the new Samsung PM1743. And uh, you'll see that we're getting basically eh, almost double, 13.8 gigs per second of total throughput bandwidth on uh, this new PCIe Gen 5 SSD. So this is some of the cool, exciting stuff that you can expect to see for Gen 5 SSDs coming out later this year.